good evening to members of the media. Um, thanks, Fato. Um, congratulations. I just just say congratulations, and I'm glad we didn't go 120. Um, so, good cup game, good goals, uh, lots of goals, uh, good for the spectators, good performance from us, and congratulations to the players. I thought I thought well, they were very good today. Okay, first question. Do we have the mic? I'm just rotating. Eh? I'm uh, taking the first one. <laughs> go, go for it. Uh, congratulations. Yeah. Uh, okay, just wait for that one. It seems like. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Go for it. Congratulations for the win. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Kamu Khalo from Sokaladuma. Um, I just wanted to highlight Lesedi Kabinga's uh, performance today. He had two assists. Um, but this was somebody that was rumored to be on the verge of leaving the club on deadline day. So there's a t performance like today vindicate and just justify him staying and maybe proving his his worth to the club going for him? No, he's, uh, they're only here because they want to be here. Um, and they're, they're available for selection, all of them. And there were very, there were a lot of very good individual performances today, and that's why the team performance was was very good. Uh, not one to praise individuals uh, because a lot of um, a lot of players were very very good today, um, and um, yeah, very good performance from from the team. Okay, let's keep it moving. <coughs> yeah, the questions. Okay, Ernest, and then you'll pass it on. Thank you, Coach Ernest. Sure, sure. Uh, follow up on um, I know you don't want to praise individual uh, performance, but main performances, but um, he has not been playing so much. And obvious from what Kamu said regarding him with the rumors, but, but obviously, you can't rely on the rumors. You just put it further, I mean, ways instead of his mind. No, I think uh, I think he showed he showed uh, that he's here um, with with a very good contribution to what was a very good team performance, and uh, very proud of him. He knows he knows he knows how much I like him um, as a footballer and as a human being. He's very good good person to. Um, quiet, um, but worked very, very hard, and 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 this is what we we expect from everybody that gets to represent the the club. And took his opportunity. I thought very, very well. Could have scored uh, one or two with better decision making, but but very, very proud of him. But as I am proud with. Sipombule, proud with Bongani Zungu, proud of Musa Libusa. Uh, Dennis was good, apart from just the goals that he considered his build-up play was, was exceptional and his distribution was very, very good. Proud of Peter Shalulele, proud of uh, Ralani was good also, was good. The subs were good, Kutumela was good. Good movements, uh, good contributions on the ball. Um, was good to see Roshin, good to see River. Big River was good, AJ was good when he came on, uh, kept things quiet and controlled. And so, as I said, a lot of very good individual performances and that's why the team was very good today, Sean. Sure. All right, Neil. Coach. Uh, sure, Neil. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say, um, <coughs> I was barefoot the whole day today. My anxiety, my anxiety levels <laughs> went down. So thank you, thank you for that one. It will help you, yeah. believe me. Um, so I have a, I have a question, but it's for my channel. Sure. So you mind if I'm, I'm, yeah, no, no problem. I can read it. Uh, so it's coach, I want to ask you about your. Uh, I have a question for you uh, regarding your uh, tactical prioritization. Um, sometimes it's a team that plays with the ball, and the principal says one should train how they play. Uh, and in the last three four games, not today maybe, in the last three four games, especially in the second half, we've seen your team suffer a bit without the ball. Um, and, and now looking into the Champions League and understanding how uh, your team is more likely in the Champions League to, to, have, to not to have the ball for longer periods of the game, 
how do you adjust your tactical prioritization uh, on a uh, micro cycle level to help your players adjust physically, mentally, and otherwise? Yeah. Uh, it's a, such a detailed question and would need a very detailed answer and I, d I don't think we have enough time uh, we we have fortunately we have the support of uh, a very good sports science department uh, and, and 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 also the type of the type of work that we try to do is also based on 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 very economical training so we don't separate we don't separate the physical from the tactical and 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 maybe even if you look at what you have seen uh, if i stand to be corrected but i think lisedi kapinga is the second muscular injury during 90 minutes since we've come back from polokwane the first one was 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 tapelo uh, and then and then everything else that we've had in terms of complications from a from an injury perspective have been or has been contact based and so uh, the amount of work that we try to do is to try to be economical where we we we, we put technical tactical uh, physical uh, components into into our our micro cycles but also an, an overview of of how we want to try to play and then adapt that to the the opposition for an example and looking into into who we play next but it's got more detail than just this uh, 30 seconds that I'm given to try to give you a roundup of the work that we do. But a lot of, lot of support and, and, and uh, work behind the scenes from, from, from the conditioning department. Swoo is doing a very, very good job. Uh, uh, Stuart is, is, is excellent at what he does. And then, of course, uh, we try to manage it with a lot of support from the from the physical data uh, with Tasso, and 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 try to build the players into into positions where they are able to give us a little bit more. Um, so, yeah, uh, brief answer from for a very long and detailed. It could easily be a. A question for a sports science uh, thesis um, because it's got so much detail to it. But 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 um, yeah, I, as brief as I can be with because we don't have too much time to try to give more detailed perspective. But I think the work of the players shows we don't have too many complications. We don't. We we really don't. Even though in in certain moments. We like you say there was a match. I'm not really sure, and, and people said, "But why didn't you make changes uh, earlier?" And I said, "I had the feeling that the team must suffer and suffer together to build this." Uh, I can't really remember which game it was. I think it was cheaper. Uh, yeah, I think it was cheaper. Maybe I think it was cheaper here. And I said, "The team has to to learn to suffer together because that builds not just the the physical condition but the trust." You know that in, in difficult moments we can, I can rely on you. You can rely on me, and I'll never give up on you. And uh, in the last couple of games, we've had to, we've had to dig very, very deep. But today we were, we were so good on the ball. I thought, especially, especially in in relation to to the rotations and 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 the opportunities that we gave to the players, the standard didn't drop, and and that's why I'm very proud of the group. That's it. Uh, cool. sure, um, <coughs> it goes without saying that um, you guys didn't sign for Manny Zungu to be, to be a big bad player. You know? Yeah. And I mean, at the same time, obviously, he's not entitled to play every match, but um, where is he now uh, in terms of physical conditioning? And Because I'm sure you'll love to see him becoming more and more and more involved and also taking that leadership role in the team. Yeah, um, good player. But 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 comes into a very good squad, um, and nobody. I it's an interesting conversation I had the other day, and and I was listening to a podcast where there was uh, Klopp was speaking about the difference between entitlement and empowerment, 
and he was saying that he's not he's not he's not coaching the, the players to be to 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 give them a sense of entitlement but but he's coaching them to give them a sense of empowerment and that everything that he tries to teach them is not just based on on football but also on life and that even when he's not in and around them the words need to resonate in their heads and it's the same for all our players our players have have a lot of very good qualities and everybody should be good enough to play and that's why they are good enough to be at Mamelodi Sundowns but we have to empower them with uh, the right life principles where they don't feel a sense of and 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 this is the talk we had even prior to the match that you 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 look at you look at Liverpool for an example last season maybe even the last three four seasons a team that was on the cusp of glory champions league finals uh one point maybe to decide the championship with with incredible numbers 94 95 96 points something like that uh very very good players but what's happened to them this season uh, there's no sense of entitlement in football uh, man city uh, incredible last four five maybe even eight seasons consistently uh, breaking records reaching champions league finals and having the feeling that they could probably even win the champions league in this season second to uh, to arsenal and even with a with an aggressive push no sense of entitlement in football chelsea they sign all the most promising young players and they spend a lot of money to bring very very good players into into their squad and what happens is still not being able to 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 get the results that that close the gap to arsenal that, that's football football has very little uh, regard for for name reputation money and, and value and whatever football has as says what do you put and you invest and because you put and you invest it gives back so zungu has to understand that he has to compete with everybody and that's life because life is unfair you, you know that's those are the the uh, empowerment values that we try to 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 give to all our players and that everybody must fight for the place in the team like you fight to achieve things in life nothing in life is given to you on a silver platter you fight to achieve things in life so you have to fight to achieve a starting place in this team to have to fight to to be in very good physical condition and and, and concentrate because that's the that's the that's the, those are the values that that life will demand from you so uh, yeah okay wrapping up uh by um, I'm just looking at um, the luxury that you don't have. I mean, there are teams that will play their matches, win them, celebrate until the next leg of the, 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 the Net Bank Cup. But you don't have that because already your you, Setif is here and you're looking forward to that match. Well, how long is your turnaround for you and your players? I mean, this was a hard for me, three, five, uh, five goals, three, three, and where do you then start with them to say, okay, let's cut the celebration, let's look into that. Just take us through that process that you have, and as well as uh, the injuries that you have going into that match. Temba Zwani, how long is it out for the result? Um, she, she, we, are, we, are, we are waiting um diagnosis of the the things the scans and and the doctors so so i can't give you an accurate answer um, the other injuries is still nasir as i said long term hashim domingo lebo um, but most of the players still working their way back to 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 fitness some of them are, are on the green grass already so terence is, is is starting to train still not available for selection uh, ab uh, abdel still not available for selection I'm just from the top of my head so i think that's six seven players that temba zwane in, included in that list so we are a little bit um, in that space where we've got quite a few injuries but we and especially in the front line so but we have to make do with what we have to make do with uh, and it's good that the, the the rest of the squad players 
uh, are picking up their hands and, and competing for places. Um, how long do we have? We've got 24 hours, um, sometimes a little bit less because already you see we are, we are training on the pitch um, and um, we, don't have, we don't have the time to, to celebrate victories, to celebrate records because there's no trophies with, with any of those at the moment. We will celebrate trophies because that's what we are here for. We are here to win trophies and, and not to make records or to, to win games, but to win trophies. And that means you, you have to do more, you have to be consistent with your performances and you have to, you have to work very, very hard to, to stay grounded and, and continue to try to push and, and be better every single, every single day. Okay, last question, Tisetsu. Yeah, no, I wanted to ask about the Tambas one myself, but maybe you can expand from what we're hearing, is it long-term or short-term? No, not as serious as, um, not as serious as uh, he looked. Uh, but, but hopefully, important player for us, uh, the captain of the team you've seen, even with uh, Dennis on the pitch, he still keeps the armband. So important for the team because he he, he gives so much confidence. In, uh, and Temba is Temba, uh, very very good player. Uh, so hopefully hopefully he's back sooner rather than later. Okay, thank you. Thank you guys.